Right, so in this video, we are going to deploy a Streamlit application using the Streamlit cloud for free. All right, so in my previous video, we built a food and a workout recommendation application, which is able to recommend a restaurant, a dinner, a breakfast, and as well as a workout plan. All right, so if you don't have access to this video, I'm going to put that in the description so you can look at it. All right, so let's get into it. First of all, we are going to set that in the Streamlit Cloud, Community Cloud. And when you click on this, it's going to take you to you sign up. If you don't have access to it, and you can sign in if you have an account, and it's going to take you here. Okay, once you get into it, I have some um, application that is already deployed. Okay, so we are going to do that using our GitHub account. Okay, so when you go into my GitHub, you can see um, this um, repo which is the diet recommend and it has the code that is the app py dot py okay so we also have the requirements in there okay and we have our environment variable which is the open ai api key okay so now let's go into the um cloud the streamlit cloud All right so when you get in here let me quickly walk you through how this works on go to settings we have the linked account which is linked to our github we have um, some limits that you can have have one gigabyte per resource per app we have um, the private apps so one app we have unlimited public apps Okay, all right, so now let's get, so when you go to analytics, it gives you um, breakdowns of how your apps are doing, number of views, video apps. Okay, so as you can see, I already have just two apps here. So before you start, you go to new apps and we are deploying, you go to the GitHub repo we are deploying this up, this um, this file, All right? So we are going to select this one, so inside edge. So that is the repo name. If you are not so sure, you can just go in there and you can just copy the link, okay? You can just copy the link and paste it there. All right, so let's see here. All right. And the next thing is the branch is master. Yeah, as you can see here. And the main part, we want to do the app.py. That is what we are running. Right, so that is the name up to pi. And the next thing is this is some optional, but I'm going to just put a name there. I'm going to say uh, diet and workout recommendation. It's going to be dot streamlit dot app. All right, so now. We are using our, so when you look at the code, we are using our API access token. Okay. Right, so I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to paste it here. So here you can input your secret keys that you want to use. Right, so it provides environment variable and other secrets 
to your apps using the Tomela format. Okay, so I'm going to in here and I'm going to create a new secret key like this. Copy it and say it down. I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to say deploy. So let's see. So you're saying your app is in the oven. Is that it's still um, installing packages? As you can see here, if you want to check that out, you can see it's downloading the dependencies that is required to run it. All right, so let's just give it some time. It takes some time to do that, so let's do it. All right, it looks like it's almost done. All right, so we have the app running. So let's try it. So our app is live now. You can share it with friends. So let me say 45 mail. We'll do 250. We'll do 177. We'll say vegan. Let me do an address of rich mode. I'll put your address. More Vegas, let me see something like Virginia. I'm gonna say USA. I'm gonna do an allergy of cheese. Say get recommendation. All right, so as you can see, we have some recommendation here. Okay, so rest, restaurant, see, um, giving us some recommendation of the names, right? And it's giving me some breakfast ideas. Okay. All right, so it's recommending some workout plan as well, right, based on my variables. So we can just copy the link let's try it here See hit all right there you go so you can all right I'm gonna attach this link so you can um, look at this as well this documentation which is really helpful okay all right okay so yeah I hope that helps so if you like this video, don't forget to share and subscribe and see you in the next one.